Hey guys, it's Eric. This is Amanda. We are d and Miniature Board Games. So with about a uh, little bit over a month to go for CMON Expo, the most recent Cool Mini or Not Kickstarter that we've received, Rise of Moloch, The World of Smog. The World of Smog. So, we are going to go ahead and unbox it. We'll do the 360 degree views of all the figures. And, uh... Hey, tell us what you think. So, should we start with the base or should we start with the expansions? I would think the base. The base? We start with the base then. Now, for anybody that's been getting CMON stuff recently, you will notice the base games are getting a lot thicker. Thicker, bigger. But you know, what I notice, I don't know, the packaging are really different. I mean, the color combination this time with the box is really different. Well, this among one is all uh, the other games. This one, have. this one's based on Victorian, kind of a steampunky mm -hmm. and Victorian age. So that's the theme. So that's why it's like that. Not too colorful, Happy Kitty. All right. All right. So first thing out, unlike normal with rule book. Campaign. We're gonna we'll go ahead and pull the rule book first. <laughs> it makes more sense. Description, illustration, pictures. Everything you come to expect from a CMON rule book. Bulleted, numbered. Now this is what I thought was kind of weird. Was normally CMON rule books. This and this are all one, in book. one book. But in this one. The campaign book is separated. And it looks like it has a little bit of introduction. But I think I like that. Yeah. It makes more sense now. That's another cover. So you don't mix up the com the campaign and the rule book. <laughs> Next, huh. interesting. There's an insert. Let's look at these first. These are the map tiles. A little bit smaller than normal, uh, and there is a grid. <laughs> and they're grid. Double-sided like normal. Textured. But they do seem like they're smaller than the normal. And they feel lighter. That's it. Mm -hmm. The substance of the <clears throat> cardboard. Oh my god. Everything's got plastic. Yep, they have... Alright, so these are the uh, the character cards. Now, uh, you got your explanation of who the character is on the back. And then on the front, it's got its agility, its trigger, and its punch. Uh, I know wounds, movement. And then you've got Arsenal. where you can put your stuff. Yeah. Okay. okay, why are you not saying who they are? It's hard to pronounce. It's a monster. Mechamancer. Arcanist. What's this? Still a tank? Knight. Now I'm assuming that these are the bad guys. Bad guys. Yeah. <laughs> Flaming zombie. Mollock spawn. The Royal Guard zombies. I saw a guy paint these up. They looked really nice. nice. Titus. Damon Smith. Hammer Smith's High Priest. Emerson. Tobias. Killer Clown. And the Shambling Zombie. Yet what? Points. Bonus. Defense boost bonus. 
These look like they might be like a quick reference card. <clears throat> Do you remember playing this? Yeah, these are so quick reference cards. Yeah, for all the players, yeah. it's always handy. So the cool thing about this is everything goes right back, back in the place. Um, <clears throat> so the eight dice that come with it, I remember a little bit, but not a lot. Not a lot. Yeah, I mean, what was it over a year ago when we played a demo? You know. I don't know why I wasn't there. I, I, can't, I can't remember. remember. <laughs> you and I think you and Sam went and did something or played something. Or so I'm not sure what the stands are for yet, but we do have standees. Now, the normal Simon has cards. cards, lots and lots of cards. I do like this though. It's it it uh the ability that everything just sticks back. right back in. Hey, through time you get you know you learn something. Might as well you know utilize the packaging. Look at that. Boom. There you go. While you're playing. So one thing I like about um Simon stuff is the uh, yeah it's easy to get those out. So. Different style cards, different colors. The uh, God, that would really mess up is your. That? That's the same color, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I don't know why. It's like if you stare at it, it's like gonna mess with your brain, yeah. with your eyes. That's the idea. I guess. Uh, so you got you do have upgrades. different colored upgrade. Green, red, blue, purple, brown. So the upgrades are basically all gentlemen short range, uh, while in short range all gentlemen re-roll. We're not going to go and look at all these because it, it's just different upgrades. types of things. Um, ether drain, head trauma, ether flux, bleeding out, crippled. So, a lot of just, a lot of words, a lot of words. New words. It, you know, the, the way that thing's designed, I just want to put everything back where it was. Okay, okay. Calm down, Eric. It's okay. <laughs> it just, it just want to stick it back where it was. It became very, very useful. Alright, so... Chaos. Um, artifact. Moloch Stone. And gear and equipment. And gear and equipment, Royal Arsenal, uh, Expert Arsenal, Common Arsenal, which is a lot more bigger deck. to it. It's normal. Easy to shuffle. <clears throat> Ooh, locations. Ally cards. Villains. The club. And more chaos. You know, just the stack of cards, it looks like, <clears throat> again, so, there's a lot to do. So these there. are your ally cards. You can get Bobby's, uh, Nanny Tin, Sutcliffe, Damsel, Blackmore. Um, activation cards. So, if I remember correctly, that that is one thing I think... Either they shuffle or they lay down. It says in what order everybody goes mm. in, and I think there's a way you can you can jump what your order is, or you can change your team's order around. Uh, Nemesis power, basic power, draw one chaos, place a fire token. Yeah, because this one it also plays. Uh, you 
you have a lot of times you have fires you have to deal with. Mm -hmm. And how many per how many players can play this game? You know, why do you always ask me that after we start unboxing? Because yeah, why are you just you know describing it and might as well ask you because you know you play this. Yeah, but I played a demo and I don't remember. Should be here. Should be here. Royal Arsenal. Morlock Blade. The Shock Sword. The Behemoth. Is that what it is? The Behemoth? That's what the weapon's called. The Moloch Stone. Uh, looks like they're bonuses. It is so different looking. The Expert Arsenal, the Diplomat, the Righteous, the Magnificent, the Needle, the Slayer, the Assassin, the Duelist. Like I said, all kind of Victorian steampunk mm -hmm. style stuff. And uh, activation for villains. Basically all your different villains you can have, and I'm sure that with the expansions that will be opening, you'll get more activation cards for the for them, more equipment, you know, it's typical, mm -hmm. typical CMON, they give you a lot of stuff. And the Kickstarter games. Yeah, it's, you, you know, that was the one thing, it was like, uh, with the zombie side, remember, we, we did, uh, our first Kickstarter was Besieged, was uh, Cool Mini, and, um, we actually jumped on that because of the crossovers for Black Plague. Mm -hmm. And we played Besieged at uh, the Expo and liked Correct. it. And, we, and liked it. we still like it. We still like it. Even though... It's hard to win, <clears throat> but we like it. Very it's hard very to win. very challenging. You know, somebody I, was, uh, I saw online, somebody actually is coming up with rules to play uh, with zombies on Besieged. He had uh, posted that up in some pictures and stuff. Uh, Who is this somebody? I, I don't remember the name. Oh well, that would be It was just somebody on one of the uh, one of the sites that I look at. And but going back to that, they really have a lot when they do the kickstart. Oh yes, they do. So it's really like a you know, come on, pledge, and we'll give you this. I'm I actually more kinda, money, and you'll get this. I, I, I wish we'd. <laughs> I wish we'd known about this, like when Rivet Wars was, and stuff was going, because we like Rivet Wars, but you got. We like Rivet Wars, but we never really play we it. Played we played it, it well. one time in C1 and two times. Was it two times? Two times. Yes, we. Did. Well, we the have large had, scale and the small. We have one. been asked about it, so I think you know. Uh, Tim and I were talking, and you and I have been talking, and I was talking to Don. Uh, to everybody. Yeah, we've, we've all discussed this where we want to get uh, to doing a lot more playthroughs, too. Yes. So... This is going to playthroughs. Because with all these games, you gotta play it. Alright, so there's the round tracker. So this is where you put those cards for the gentleman and for the nemesis. Mm -hmm. And in their turn orders, if I remember correctly. And then and you got your locations okay. and stuff like that. Um, setting London on fire. Hey, setting London on fire. Uh, turn tracker, different types, and More. on top of the maps, you've also got yeah. the smaller uh -huh. things too. Rooms and alleyways and such. It's and then your your tokens. Now I don't think I. We'll have to get into the Kickstarter exclusives, but I don't remember because it's been a while since I did this one. And I honestly, I, you know, we Tim and I liked it at Simon, so I went ahead and get the, got the bid and everything. But I really haven't looked at it too much. I was just kind of been like, okay, it, it's going to come when it comes. So I don't remember exactly what you what we get in the extras. I, I can't remember. But that's your typical Eric, though. No. <laughs> Eric doesn't remember you buy it we open it and oh yeah <clears throat> this goes with it or with this oh i do remember this we hated the color of the figures well probably it's meant to be painted why would you hate that the blue i like the yellow is kind of like mm. yeah 
we really are not a yellow fan, but I don't know why, but. Yeah, they got that kind of grimy feeling. And of course, they look good. And detailed. Hmm. I think that's the big guy. What do you think? Yeah. 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 Oh, this one too. Oh, look. Tim, it's the two headed uh, circus lady. And that reminds me of Tim all the time. So these are your, uh, these are the bobbies that can come to help you. And uh, you do have two alternate poses of them in the base game. And then the different heroes. More heroes. Yeah, those are, you know, the, you know, typical Simon, you know, uh, extremely nice quality on the figures. You really can't ever complain. If you've, uh, if nobody's really paid attention lately, Simon's been actually numbering the bottom. So that when you go to put stuff back in, you know where they go if you want to continue to use this. Now, obviously, because of all the expansion stuff, we usually normally, you know, turn it over to yes. casing. And we just keep one it's box with all the stuff, so more space on our Correct. shelves. But for the person that wants to keep it all together and... And all their games are like that anyway. Like, I mean, most of their games now, are... they didn't used to be. Uh, they started it kind of with Black Plague and yeah. gone since then. And actually with Black Plague, I don't think they... I don't remember if they numbered them in Black Plague. I do recall... But the in individual... Individualized on the That's one. the casing or the packaging. So you know, if you, Black if you don't have a fashion, I mean, it doesn't make sense. You use the same same one, you know. Yeah, but once you start doing the expansions and stuff, it's like mm, yeah, yeah. kind of go on a trip somewhere else. Now that's else and, if you put everything back in their plastic places. Voila. Everything fits right back into the back this, box. This? That's your base. <clears throat> All right, so that's the base game. Oh. So, which one do you want to do first? Let me pick one. The Baker Street set. Now, as we said, you guys should be seeing the 360s of the figures that are included if in. Not, you know. If I can't fit them all in, normally I'll put them at the very end. But I've actually, even with SEMA, I've never had a real problem managing to get them all in. Okay. So, with the Baker Street set. <laughs> apparently we get Lord Holmes. I am having so much problem with this plastic tonight. You just said earlier. The right. cards. <laughs> the cards of everything else. Okay. All right. The Baker Street set. So you get Irene Adler and Colonel Morin. These are the two new villains. Villains. Oh. And Lord Holmes. Well, I think you can play them either way. I'm not sh I don't remember. You have four Hero dashboard. Yeah, it looks like you can play them either way. So you get Watson and Holmes though. And then you get Adler and Colonel Moron. Moron. Moran. And obviously you get a campaign book. Moran. <laughs> Moron, that's it's right. Moran. Excuse me, Colonel Moran. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see that figure. Alright. But I do like his figure. Yeah. Oh. Of course. And. Who is it? Is this Holmes? Yeah, I think that's Holmes. Looks like he's got a little case of a. with a body in it. <laughs> Let me feel that. 
It's light though. If you look at it, it looks heavy. Oh, so the, they've actually got the rocket launcher. <laughs> It's beautiful. Beautiful. And these are undoubtedly they are the probably the activation. So you do have the two villain activations and if you play them as heroes you've got the hero activation cards. Six for them. activation cards. Yep. Alright, so Alright, that's the Baker Street set. <coughs> Next What's next? The wheel. It's the wheel. The wheel. It's the wheel. It's the wheel. Let's open the wheel. So we're going to open the wheel now. So their age is kind of higher, huh? Age 14. 14 and up. Yeah. So you were asking, it looks like it's a 2 to 5 game. Unless you found that earlier. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't even know it anymore. <laughs> Alright, so campaign book. <clears throat> now we It's gone. So that's the campaign book. New characters. We have Reverend and Mrs. Dudley. Hmm. Hey. Looks like a new map tile and hmm. some smaller ones. Huh, this one comes with what looks like what it says curses. So you got your activation cards and activation cards for the bad guys and nemesis power cards there's four of those and then we have curse cards here uh, not sure if it's curse you know, cards. so it gives you a dizzy weakened brain damage so bleeding cursed, out twisted foot and another you're brain damage twisted foot. you're gonna be bleeding out you're going to be something. <laughs> I'm not sure what. You've been cursed. So those are the new cards. Uh, obviously your... Your help would be the knife. Nibaba. Baba Yaga. Apparently we get a golem in this. Yep. Oh. It's not a golem. Oh. Alright. Let's take a look at these real Let's quick. Let's look at those. Yeah, alright. kind of like, yeah, their cards are just like small. I know. So, your two main characters. Everybody seems to be carrying caskets. <laughs> There's your golem. Hmm. Looks like a furnace. <laughs> a brick blast furnace. Kind of scary, really. I, I, I have no clue. Must be the cursing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's your, like, a werewolf and looks like a goblin style figures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Hey, you know, you can't, you can't ever say anything bad about Simon's quality in their Nicely figures. Nicely done, made, actually. But I think this is thinner. I don't know, for some reason I'm thinking your figures this time is thinner, lighter, and... If you drop it, it's gonna like break. Who's next? Oh, I'm going to get the Mech Asylum. Mech Asylum. I'll go with that. It's the Asylum. Hey, and look, it's another expansion for Smog. <laughs> Alright. It's so blue. 
So, we're going to kind of move stuff. Start moving stuff up a little bit. All right, so the campaign book. Because every one of these expansions, the large expansions, come with a campaign, a new campaign book. Now, for those of you who are wondering, I, I hadn't mentioned it, all the map tiles, just like normal with Seamon, they aren't labeled at the bottom. So, like this one is T9A. T9A! And three new heroes. Pinocchio, MK1. Hmm. It's Pinocchio. That's cool. See it? Mm hmm. Archibald Argrave. <laughs> so, we have an evil toy Geppetto, Lily, and little Alice. Alice in Wonderland. Mm hmm. The evil toy. Oh my god. It's so creepy. Alright, so we got more enhancement equipment with this one. Um, Nemesis power cards. Another ally card. Obviously the activation cards for the new. And we have upgrade cards. Looks like they're you're upgrading different weapons, so. Okay. And the new nemesis, you got propel, self repair, and over overdrive. overdrive. The new ally card is Lily. And the enhancement equipment, you got a cogs, cogs, lots of cogs. You have many cogs for enhancement. <laughs> I don't know why I'm putting those back in right now because we gotta get the figures out still. Next figures. So. Oh. It's a steam powered wheelchair. Oh, that's nice. Alice looks nice as the ally figure. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Here's your uh. Like it. Pinocchio? Mm hmm. Sharp nose, long nose. So, is it just me or can you. So, Pinocchio's in yellow, but usually it's the bad guys in yellow. Yeah, and the good guys are in blue. That's kind of. Huh. You know what? I don't think. Yeah, Pinocchio's not. Not a good guy. Oh, he's a bad guy. He's a bad guy. <laughs> coming out of the, coming yeah. out of the toy box. Mm -hmm. Jabet does it on a uh, merry-go-round horse. Freaky, I can feel it. You can see it, you can feel it. Shoes in my fingers, I feel it in my toes. <laughs> All right, next we'll have the dragon. The dragon. The dragon. Little some people don't maybe don't know is for some reason in Simon games they. Everybody always asks for dragons. We, we, yeah, that's true. We were asking for that. Remember mm -hmm. that every, um, no, that was a convention that yeah. 
One dragon. Because that first, uh, I think it was the first convention we went to, Black Plague was mm -hmm. uh, first running. And they're like, no, it's not going to happen for the, this. The tile would have to be so big for the dragon. <laughs> and guess what? The green Horde, yeah, what does it have? Dragons. <clears throat> we like dragons. I mean, we really do. There's nothing wrong with dragons. Okay. So, Mr. Honk. Says he's a monster. And Peachy Carnahan. Yes. Okay. So, two new map tiles. Looks like we've got the wharf uh, with boats and everything sitting. And then different rooms. It's the boat! The boat! Oh. No plane. No the plane. No plane. It's the boat. It's the boat. Sam is so loud. <laughs> Doctor Lee. Poison zombie. Dragon. Opium fan. dragon. Poison Fu zombie. Fu Manchu. Opium opium dragon. You know, just like <laughs> That reminds me of that news. Okay, so your activation cards. And so now we have Torment Poison. We have Gear Equipment. And Nemesis Power. Oop. Whoa! We dropped Nemesis Power. Uh, so we get Poison Strike and Poisonous Summons. Dr. Leafall. So we'll stick those right there. The Torments are, it's just different. It's Poison, 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 poison and Dangerous Toxin. I guess you really just want the regular Poison one when you get that. <laughs> And uh, equipment gear, you get antidote. antidote. Of course, because there's a lot of poison. Uh, la large antidote, stronger antidote, uh, bullseye. There's, there's apparently a level of endurance. antidote because there's a level uh -huh. on the poison. So let's see that dragon figure. Uh, all right. So who are the Doctor. So we got the monkey and the guy. Huh? What is that? It's a gorilla. Oh. It's a gorilla. And the dragon character. Well, actually, it's the person with the, the open dragon. No, 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 yeah. It looks like, yeah, it's coming out of the girl. Like a, the dragon's actually like a smoke coming out of the girl. That's the that And, you know, so... These are the Dragon Fang, which actually look like Geisha Girls. <laughs> and then you have Fu Manchu and... Uh, I guess one of those is the Poison Zombie? Mm, the hat should be kind of... Okay, so that's the Fong. That's Fu Manchu. Dragon. Oh, you use the regular zombies. For that? Yeah. How did you know? Because they look just like the regular zombies. <laughs> well, I guess the figures are for... Four figures. For that. Special. They just give you the card so that you can use your zombies as poison zombies. Kidokes. Hey. <clears throat> Are you ready for the embassy? Can I get the other one back <laughs> in first? Hey, I know you're... Move along, uh, dragons, because the embassy's coming. I know you have excitement going on here. You want to get to the Kickstarter exclusives. I know you. And that would be on that side. Yep. All right, the embassy. The embassy. The embassy. Okay. 
More campaigns. You remember some, somebody said something about me flicking through a rule book like this? Makes him cringe or yeah. something? Yeah. Oh, how are you gonna... Well, you need a... Uh, gloves, you gloves? I don't know about that. Alright. You read it, you put it back. I mean, you don't destroy it, but come on. It's a rule book. It's a rule book. Alright. So, Lord Baron Mantis and Elizabeth Sparkle. Map tile and then more of the smaller ones. Some new tokens. So, I, you're supposed to, um... Pop them out? Yeah. Yeah. So dark. And two more. Doesn't look like an embassy. I know. I'm waiting for that because I'm just trying to make sense of it. So. Uh, infected Bobby, Kenny Jones, Ambassador, Lord Swanson, Infected Constable. So obviously you have the, the activation cards, the new activation cards. Um, <laughs> And it looks like we have Torment Mutation. Uh, mutation? Small growth, third eye, hulking arm. Hmm. Reject the host, tentacle arm. Embassy mark. Yeah. So, that takes care of all the cards. Let's see what these now figures look the like. Because really, we know why that people watch our unboxing videos. They just want to see the figures. Alright. No, I don't want to see everything. Looks like something from War of the Worlds. Oh, yeah. Yep. What is it? I don't know. It looks like something from War of the Worlds. No, oh, no. That's beautiful. It's like the last circus characters. So... You get the what Bobbies that, or the Constables, whichever one they're going to be. The cards. Oh, okay. Like, okay. And there's the monkey looking... Kenny Jones. Kenny Jones. And Lord Swanson. And that, I guess that was Am Ambassador Nail. Mm -hmm. Alright. What do we got? One Where more? Where they got that idea, I... It's really, really... <laughs> Something to think about. Yeah, well, we got one, we got one more. Yes, we have the last of the expansion. On this side, which is expansion. And this is Ohm's Gentleman Set. Here you go. The last of the expansions. As you can see, we have unboxed one, two, three, four, five, six so far. Yep. And this is the seventh box. All right, so. Use the knife. I will use the knife. So you should have six hero dashboards. One. It's like Sesame Street. Two, One, two, two three, three, four, 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 five, and six. Six. Ah, 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 ah. Six hero dashboards. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. I like it. Hussein Taylor, Master. Now I'm kind of, I'm kind of torn of between playing this and Vampire Hunters Wednesday night. I know. Um, I like what I see in the Vampire mm -hmm. Hunters, and I'm kind of torn between the two. But it's different. 
So your activation cards and obviously your new characters. Colonel Steel. Oh, that's a cool character. That's cool. For Arcanus. What is it doing? Looks like he's using magic and popping up. Flying, levitating, planos. It's something. It's something. He's doing something. All right, we finish it on this side. Move along, move along. Okay. So those we just will pile on top of there and stick there. And... Alright, so the first bag. Would that be money? That would be plastic coins. Uh, Mr. Honk Alternative. There's Mr. Honk's Alternative. Aww. So we'll just stick him right there. He's naked. Oh no, he's not. I thought he's just his fat, but no, he's not. I don't know where your mind is tonight. No, he does. He is fat, but you know. It's not nice. I mean, sorry. He's. Alright, so. More dice. More of the same dice. Different color. Yeah, I know, but the same. Color's different. Is it and. The box! <clears throat> it's the box. And, uh, yeah, they made it different. Alright. So, All right. we have more campaigns. Because obviously we have more characters. Right next to me. All right, so you get two more map tiles with this one. Those look like spider eggs sacks because that's what they are. Me. Yeah, they. That give you the ugh. Oh look. The chill. Oh, it's a dice bag. Oh, it's a dice. Is it really? You sure about that? <laughs> I'm pretty positive that's a dice bag. Nice. All right, so let's see. Emma Swanson. Three, four, five, six, seven. So nine more characters. Nine more characters. All right, so in here. Okay, so the activation cards for those nine characters. The activation cards for the new bad things that are in here. More bad things. Uh, one upgrade card. And ally cards. And the cards for the bad guys. Killer Clown, Cycler, Rat Boy, Darwin. It's a Rat Boy. Oh, there's a uh, Mr. Needle. Mr. Needle. Humpy Dumpy. Tommy Neil. Captain Nemo. <clears throat> Lady Usher. That's off. That's off. All right, so you get another set of dice. So that's three sets of dice. 
and some little cog, probably to keep track of some. There's four of them. Kind of an odd number. So it's actually even. <laughs> but if it's a two to five oh, player game, you know, it's kind of. <laughs> it's four. It's even. So that's one of the allies, which is the dog. The dog that the kill um, is this an hour? Oh look. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> at first I was like, is that the base? I'm like, oh no, nope. that, that's, that's the base. Yeah, that's the base. Okay, this dog is so cutie. <laughs> well Aww, here's the cute. here's the new uh figures. New bad guys. Oh look, he's hanging upside down. Mm. There's the crocodile guy. It was something stuck through his head. Uh, it it looks. Is funny. this the woman that's getting sawed in, sawed in half? Yep. That's actually a cool figure. That is. That's new. This guy's dried and lo looks like a tube worm. With legs hanging out the mouth. Hey, they are very creative. Oh, you look at the little cute little guys. baby. <laughs> they are creative, so you know. Yeah, there's there's the one Tim's going to hate. Because it's spider? Mm, it's just freaky. Oh, come on. It's just a spider. What is wrong with you? Hey, I lost my head. Oh, it's still in the hat. <laughs> I am doing some magic here. Oh, Georgie. <laughs> That's all you see that. Georgie, Georgie, where did Georgie go? <laughs> Very nice figures. Wow, this Fun one's actually got too. what looks like a dog on a... <laughs> There, um, a lot of it. Is that birds holding up her skirt? Mm. Some kind of flying thing. I know, but <laughs> they're all cool. they're Pretty all cool. kind of macabre. <laughs> well, guys, that's <laughs> that's Rise of Moloch, the world of smog. Uh, Hopefully you liked what you saw. If you did, please click subscribe and like. Uh, leave us a comment. We do tend to answer every comment that comes on our videos, good or bad. As always, remember support your local game. Your local, bleh, 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 bleh. local gaming. We support Discover Games in Fayetteville, Georgia. Uh, also remember CMON Expo is coming up in about a month and a half. Uh, we will be there. Um, we will be there. Feel free to come up and say hey. If you like our stuff, tell us you like our stuff. If you hate it, eh, go ahead and okay. tell us. We don't care. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Not Our stuff isn't for everybody. Subscribe. As always, guys, game on. Game on.